So finally going to do it, finally going to go to Asgard. Haven't gone to actually any of the places here. This is the portal cave, and in case you haven't been here, it's at 40.1 degrees latitude and 57.8 degrees longitude. So this is pretty exciting. Let's head off and down this way and bring our stuff with us. Hopefully everything goes okay. I get real nervous about making the jump between worlds. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, here we are. I think I'm going to, yeah. So we've got our, got a couple creatures in cryopods. We've got our snow owl, but I don't think we can actually use it once we go over there. So here we go, double clicking on here, going to Asgard, and I've also got my Thyla. And then I did bring a couple, a little bit of taming uh, stuff here, just in case we find something super cool that we want to tame. And uh, let's see if all my loot or my stuff comes along for the ride here. All right, here we are. Is my stuff there? My stuff is there. Okay, we've got some creatures out there, I guess. Let's get this thyla out here, and let's gamma down. That's better. Kind of weird lighting out here. So I've never been here, and I've actually never really looked at any video or anything other than maybe the trailer of this place. So this is pretty neat. I have no idea what <laughs> we're going to find here. And also, you know, it doesn't have its own map, so let's see. Let's see if there's anything, you know, really worth checking out here. I bet you there is. Um, so this is how we can also use the, um, the, the transporter over there to uh, get the different bosses. So let's go, let's just take a look here. What a freaky place. So I think this is, yeah, this will be interesting. So what kind of creatures do we have here anyway? So this is not a regular one. This is our Procroptodon. And we're just gonna, I guess, gonna explore here. Let's see what we got here in terms of aloes. Just regular aloes. Uh, looks like regular ma uh, mammoths. Something else down there, scorpion. Well, I see a little pond down there. Let's go check that out. Good, there's that. <laughs> I was hoping there'd be a rune so it'd be easy to find our way back. So let's go check that out. So this thyla was probably a good idea. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got some sort of artifact or, well, not artifact, but uh, yeah, let's just go check this out. Some plinth here we got to check out. And what? That is just a rock, but it looks really like an ant. Is that a, uh, it is a, Oh, that looked like a, yeah, from a distance, it looked like a face in that rock. Okay. Okay, it's just a square rock, I guess. Anything going on up here? All right, so we'll just uh, explore around here. It looks pretty normal-ish, I guess. We got a vein of some kind, looks like. Maybe? No. Okay, we're going to test out these rocks real quick after we dispose of these, these guys. Is there... Looks oilish. No, nope, just a metal rock. There we go. Got rid of that guy. We'll get rid of this metal as well. Well, I found a whole ton of beavers over here. Uh, Castroides, if you prefer. So I'm going to have to add this to my previous Where Are the Castroides uh, videos down here in Asgard at 33.0 degrees latitude and 26.9 degrees longitude i've made it quite a ways around the entire border of the map and there's a lot of weird stuff uh here and we're gonna go check out some more of it also i did see a gas bags floating off that way so if you're looking for one of those they are here uh in asgard so this is a really cool area i think these rocks are supposed to end up looking like something i'm not quite sure what and i don't really know uh, what's here other than these uh, bioluminescent trees for one thing. I haven't found any special resources down here yet, but I am looking for them. I forgot to bring a hatchet, but I do have an axe, so I should be able to figure out some of this stuff. So we've got kind of different colored rocks here. I don't know if one of them gives us sand or not. Let's check that out. Yeah, it's just stone, flint, and metal, so that's pretty normal. These are a little different as well, but I'm assuming, yeah, those are the same. So 
Let's go over here. Very pretty area. Um, there's some weird lighting down here and some weird colors. Kind of reminds me of, I don't know, when uh, was it No Man's Sky first released. But uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. Let's uh, let's go down this way. See if we can avoid falling the entire way. I see there's a ramp kind of a thing that way, but. That was a mistake and a half. No, not really. I planned it that way. Yep, exactly. <laughs> okay, so we're down here now. And is there any real creatures down here? Yeah, we got just kind of normal fish. And a couple other things. I'm stuck on one of them. Dimitri down or whatever those things are. Okay, not too much here. So here's this weird colored world coming up. Kind of makes me nauseous a little bit, perhaps. <laughs> Got a whole bunch of raptors over there. And uh, you know, it looks like one of them is an alpha. We already dealt with an alpha raptor down here. So alpha creatures uh, do spawn down here. Let's go up here. Yeah, Ugh, all red here. But, yeah, I'm not seeing anything too interesting. I'm probably missing something. I'm pretty sure I'm missing something. There's got to be something special other than just gas bags over here. But, yeah, I'm going to keep looking. Hey, I'm getting some silk here. That's pretty neat. So, that's new. Let's see. Getting it from, are we getting it from these guys? These purple guys. What are we getting silk from? Couldn't quite tell. So there's this. No silk. Oh, I bet you it's these weird little guys. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what else to call them other than weird little guys. And then these aren't harvestable with hands. What do we got in here? So this is fungal wood. Okay. That's all right. So we got to drop some of this garbage here <laughs> that we've picked up. We're not going to need wood or you or fungal wood or that. Uh, I can drop silica pearls. I'm going to keep this silk for sure. So let's keep looking around here. Do we have pteranodon spawning? This is a pretty freaky looking area. Let's see if there's... This is probably... What is this? Is this a thing? Okay, so this is going to give us a bunch of mushrooms. All the different kinds of aberration mushrooms. That's cool. Okay, we got some turtles. That's new for this area. Just jump over this stuff. Very interesting looking down here. Okay, I have found something interesting down here. We've got some shadow manes that have just fallen asleep. So that's pretty neat. Uh, let's see, there's a level 90. I think there was a level 100 down there somewhere. Uh, let's bring up the map and our GPS so you can see where we are. We're at 54.4 degrees latitude and 51.2 degrees longitude. I wonder if they spawn at the other sort of abrogation um, forest over here, but I didn't see them over there. There's a mantis off in the direction, and so I think we're just going to ignore these guys for right now. Oh yeah, here's a level 100. I wonder if they wake up. I think we should be able to... Oh. Oh, it spotted us, I think. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, boy. This is bad. Uh, neutral. Run. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There we go. What's happening? We were poisoned multiple times. I don't know. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. I was asleep at the wheel today, guys. Okay, I think we'll I think we'll make it through this. Maybe I don't know. They're looking kind of bloody. They're zapping me. Oh well. I don't know what we're biting down here. There's one. Okay. Get them. Get them, guys. Wow. <laughs> Woo. All right, there was a little interesting going on in this map that I just, uh, I was not paying attention <laughs> to what was going to go on. Ah, that was funny. All right. <laughs> Let's see uh, what else we got going on. Did it fry my armor? It did. It blew up my pants <laughs> in more ways than one. Okay. I 
My flak armor was not full health when it got in here, but uh, yeah, <laughs> wow. All right, well, we're going to continue to look around. Oh, Mantis, hello. What's up, Mantis? I'm not interested in, in uh, making a Mantis friend today, so there we go. Whoa. Go, what the heck? More Mantis. Well, two level, a 20 and a 25. Not something I'm particularly interested in today. Wow. But, yeah. So we're going to keep looking around. I think we've got this place pretty well explored so far. So I will bring you back in case I do something stupid again and uh, it looks interesting. <laughs> I keep running around because I'm thinking I'm missing stuff. And I definitely am. So we're in this weird little red zone again. And we've got a little cool village here. So let's take a look around here. And can we get into these houses? We sure can. By the way, let's load up here. So these houses are pretty cool. Might be a nice little temporary base here. One thing I should try doing is building a bed and see if I can teleport over here. That would be pretty interesting. So I should have plenty of stuff in order to do that. Let's munch this guy real quick. Okay, I probably need some fiber though. I'm kind of guessing I dropped some fiber. Well, maybe not. Let's look up bed here. Um, bed, 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 bed. That's a smithy. Should be up this way. And there it is. We'll do one of these. Oh, come on. What do I need? Wood thatch. That's probably my problem. Okay, I don't have a hatchet, but we'll get enough wood eventually out of here. There we go. I don't know. Can I harvest these trees? No. Nope. Let's go this way. That should be pretty close. I forgot how much exactly we need. Was it 90 or something? Okay. So I think that'll do it. Um, we just need hide, which is over by you. So that's no big deal. Grab that. And I think I'll probably just make a storage box right here as well, because why not? So let's grab this hide. And then, let's see, okay, let's do the bed. And there it is, and a storage box. And I'll grab a few of these things as well, just for fun, see what we can do, assuming we can place a bed out here. So let's go ahead and do that, and there's our bed, sure thing. There's our bed, so let's rename this guy to Asgard. There we go. And let's just see where we can go. Yep, so we can fast travel to back to the base and stuff like that. Of course, we'll drop all of our gear if we do that, but I am not going to do that. I'm just going to build our little storage box here and put some resources in it just because we got them. There we go. That, not you, Snow Owl. And there. And I think that should be good. I don't know if these are going to transfer over. We'll just find out. And we'll leave you there. Okay. So that should be it. Oh, we didn't go up here. So let's go up here. There's a bunch more houses. Pretty. I really like these villages in this game. This is a, kind of a main hall. Let's check this guy out. Ooh, this is pretty. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Got a little side doors too. Yeah, you could pretty much make, well, at least the way I make a base, you could get almost everything you need in one of those. And certainly by the time you add all together these houses, you could definitely get everything ready to go. Okay, well, we're still going to look around. Uh, this is pretty cool. We've got another portal kind of a thing here. And we've got this portal here too. I'm in uh, Hadaian Skull. I don't know how to pronounce that, so I apologize for that. So ooh, we've got to be level 50 to go there, but that is a pretty cool little uh, portal thing. Well, I found kind of a low-level bulb dog. I guess actually I found two. There's uh, Mate Boosted. I wonder where the other one is. Uh, let's see if I can find that little guy. So we did. Okay, so you're our friend now. Let's head over here. Drop you off over here. There we go. Let's see if I can find that other one. And hopefully not any shadow mains. Uh, let's see. Bulb dog. That's my little guy there. 
Hmm, got to be one around here somewhere. It was mate boosted. Guessing it would be further down, but it shouldn't be too far off. Oh, I never figured out if there's anything interesting with these guys over here. Let's see, where are they? I don't see it. Well, maybe I was looking at these guys from up above. They look like little, almost, uh, I might as well grab this rune. I don't know. Here we go. I grabbed it. Um, yeah, from the top, they look really weird, so they're not something different at all. But let's see if we can find another bulb dog. Maybe there's a better level one. I don't see anything, though. So it went down this way also, um, but I forgot to record. And down here is pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of radiation, though, and I believe this is where the Rock Drake eggs spawn. So we're going to have to come back here with a hazmat suit and uh, try to steal some eggs, but that is not going to be easy. But you guys might be curious as to where we are. And we are at 41.9 degrees latitude and 49.3 degrees longitude. Back from Asgard, and since then I've been taming up a ton of Dimorphodons and started a pretty good breeding program. The reason why I'm doing this is because in the next episode I want to go after some Rock Drake eggs. And I think the Dimorphodons are going to help me. I think they're the only thing that I have right now that is resistant to radiation according to my research so even regular dimorphodons are i mean other than shine horns and the bulb dog that we got which aren't going to be good fighters so we've got a little selective group here for breeding uh we got a couple mutations already and uh, according to user suggestion i should have uh, been building this uh, incubator over here so i'm still using the s plus hatchery because it picks up these eggs um, while I'm not paying attention which is very handy but we're gonna put them in the incubator which speeds things up uh, even a little bit more but the really cool thing is um, which I should have known by now but uh, I didn't play uh, Genesis for more Genesis part 2 for more than a couple of days so I never really thought much about this but it does give us uh, how many points have been put into each one so for these dimorphodons, all we really care about is health and uh, melee damage. So we got 37 on this one, and 32, 37, 32, and 37, and 32. It also tells us the number of mutations. So this one's got two mutations and two mutations. So if I was trying to try to breed up uh, super dimorphodons, I'd want to get rid of anything, uh, the mutations that went into anything weird. So... Wow, this one's got 41 points in the food. Um, and this one, I'm not sure where the... Okay, this one's got movement speed mutation. That's weird, I think. Anyway, um, so if I was going to bring up, breed up some super dimorphodons, um, I want to, you know, make some adjustments here and get rid of some eggs and, and whatnot. But we're going to breed up really good dimorphodons. Uh, so, yeah, so we've got a whole bunch over here that we're not going to do anything with. Uh, like we got like a level 134. These are the wild ones, 157 and stuff like that. So we're going to, I don't know what we're going to do with those. Probably sacrifice them. This is going to be pretty much our breeding stock. And then everything new here. So we're at 100%. So we're going to hatch all these out. It's hard to select these for some reason. I went ahead and build the S plush version. So there we go. So we've hatched out our little dimorphodons. They're kind of hard to see amongst the ferns here that are growing up through the foundation. And where there should be three of them. Where the heck did they go? Oh, they spit out over here for some reason. So, yep, so we're going to do these dimorphodons, get them fully imprinted. So they're going to be very, very good uh, dimorphodons. I want to have at least 20 of uh, these bred ones because um, the imprinting boost is going to give 20% more in health and 20% more into melee, basically, or do they take 20% less damage? I think that's mating boost. Anyway, they're going to be a lot better than... Uh, the wild ones regardless of mutation so we're at 229 and 222 um, for uh, total level so i'm pretty excited about these guys 
So we've at least got these three right now. We might take a few of these guys along with us. So we're going to keep breeding these uh, diamorphs. And then in the next episode, we're going to run for some rock drake eggs. We're going to do the whole rock drake experience. We're going to go over to the cave. We'll re-show you the location. Then we'll get some eggs, I hope. Uh, it's really going to depend upon how well these diamorphodons can chew through the rock drakes that are defending. I have no clue. Um, diamorphodon clouds can be very um, devastating to their enemies. I think we're going to do okay if we get a few levels uh, in these guys. And then, anyway, so we'll get some eggs, hopefully, if all goes well. We'll hatch those eggs out and raise those babies up and take them for a spin. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I know it was a little slow because we're just doing a lot of exploring of Asgard, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, and love hearing from you guys down in the comments section.